Lillian Hellman's 1939 drama The Little Foxes has attracted two leading ladies. Laura Linney and Cynthia Nixon will alternate in the roles of the ruthless Regina and her meek sister-in-law, Bertie. We're here at the Manhattan Theatre Club rehearsal space to get the scoop on the production. What made you guys want to do The Little Foxes? Well, it's a great play. We have a spectacular director in Dan Sullivan. I get to work with Cynthia and we get to rotate parts. So it's sort of a, you know, a, a potpourri of theater heaven, kind of, <laughs> you know? What does that smell like? Pretty good, it smells pretty good. A lot of people don't know The Little Foxes, so just give me a little taste of what it's about. A Southern family at the turn of the century in 1900, uh, after the Civil War. Everything is very simple. You cut the other guy's throat and you take his money. It is so entertaining to watch people kind of tumbling all over one, one another trying to make more profits. And there's some stealing that goes on, there's some mischief that goes on within the family, and it turns into an all-out verbal bloodbath between the siblings. So we have some deceit, some revenge, yes. some treachery, yes. family values. Family values that we should all aspire to. Tell me why it's resonating right now. This play always resonates in an economy like ours. You know, it's a, you know, Hellman was a, had a great social conscience, and uh, you know, it's a play about greed in a in a capitalist society. So this play is, you could say it's particularly relevant now, but I think it's, I think it's always appropriate in this country. These are white collar criminals. That's what they are. But instead of being investigated, they're you know, yeah. they're just raking it in. It's important to remember is a lot of fortunes are made in a lot of really nasty, illegal ways. And I think that that's one of the things that this uh, yeah. play is about. Regina has been catnip for so many powerful actresses over the years. Tallulah Bankhead, Betty Davis, Elizabeth Taylor. How does it feel to join that pantheon? Regina's an amazing part, but I think that sometimes the power and evil and depth of that part and the age of that, you know, has made her catnip for women of a certain age. But I think once you really start doing the play, it's really an ensemble piece. As much as the publicity is, is about the two of us swapping the roles, I mean, the men in our production are, you know, extraordinary. And God bless them, I think it's harder for them probably that we're switching back and forth than it is for us. I mean, they have to totally recalibrate every time and they've been incredibly patient and supportive and loving and, and uh, you know, we're lucky to, to be surrounded by such good people. Laura Linney and Cynthia Nixon are alternating roles. Does that mean that audiences have to see this show twice? Well, if they want to get the full experience, they should see it twice. And I get to have two wives, so I'm very happy. I know this isn't you, but are you more of a Regina or a Bertie? Nice, great question. I think both. I can't say one. I have my Regina quality and I have my birdie qualities. I have my meek qualities and I have my eh quality. I hope I'm as benign as Birdie is. I hope I hope there's a sweetness in me like there is in her. I think most of us probably fall somewhere in the middle, you know? I hope I'm neither of them, to be honest yeah. with you. I, I, I mean, I, there, there are things I admire about both of them. I admire Bertie's kindness and her sort of beauty, and I admire Regina's sense of life and, and desire. They're just, they're, they're a hot mess, both of them. Yeah, they both need a shrink in the worst way. They need so they need much. A lot of therapy.